There are several shows on Netflix with a large following, and Virgin River is one of them. The show features several characters that are adored by fans and a complicated storyline that keeps you on your toes. Spoilers ahead, the show star couple Jack and Mel are finally engaged. So what does Martin Henderson have to say about the future of their relationship? Stick around to find out. First up, what does Martin Henderson have to say about Jack and Mel's future? Season 4 of Virgin River turned out to be exactly what fans had hoped for. Jack proposed to Mel, and what's more, Mel said yes. Now, fans wait with bated breath for season 5 and are wondering what the new season has in store for their beloved characters. The star of the show, Martin Henderson, who plays Jack Sheridan, has offered us some insight for the next season. By the end of the season, Mel, who's played by Alexandra Breckenridge, learned that Jack was the father of her baby. So, the new season will not only explore their relationship since their engagement, but a new phase for their lives as well. Plus, turns out Charmaine was lying about Jack being the father of her twins. Seems like all of their stress has been set aside, and hopefully, Jack and Mel can begin a life free of all issues. Martin, too, voiced his hopes for Season 5. He hoped that the next season should see Jack and Mel get closer to one another. Some of the stuff they're going to go through is really going to cement their bond. Fans, including Martin, saw that the two had faced several issues throughout Season 4, one of which was Jack's drinking. While these issues didn't deter fans from believing that Jack and Mel were meant to be, there were a lot of bumps throughout their relationship that seemed to be pushing them apart. However, Jack put an end to all those thoughts once he popped out the big question. Martin hopes that any adversity that the two face in the future will help them come closer. Audiences love to see them come together instead of drifting apart, and so does Martin. The challenges they face in their future will hopefully help them grow and mature over time. Next up, what have Mel and Jack been up to in Season 4? Mel and Jack were meant for each other from the beginning of the show. Fans waited patiently for the two of them to figure it out, though. The series began with Mel moving to a small town in California, Virgin River. Having worked as a nurse, she is trying to start a new life, having lost her husband and her baby. Jack, a local, locks eyes with Mel, and it is clear to everyone that the two will end up together. Season 4 has been exceptionally difficult for the two of them. Jack's drinking is the cause for the majority of them. Even when Mel tries to go away on vacation with him, their trip went awry. The pilot of the seaplane suffers a heart attack, and Jack has to land the plane. Fortunately, neither Mel nor the baby was hurt. Things don't get any better when Jack refuses uses to take a paternity test so that Mel can know if the baby was his or not. Plus, Jack won't go to therapy, even after Mel's and Preacher's pleased to do so. His drinking had turned so bad by episode 6 that he passed out, unable to hear Mel cry out through stomach pain. Instead, she had to call Doc to ensure her baby was healthy. And that's not all. Jack goes missing one night, after having promised Mel that he would try to stop drinking. When he's found, he apologizes, but she asks him to stay away, and the rift between the two widens. Fortunately for viewers, Jack decides to start seeing a therapist secretly. From there, he goes on to propose to Mel, and we were finally able to let out a sigh of relief. And now, so what makes Mel and Jack's relationship goals? Mel and Jack have always seemed to be a perfect match. They're one of those couples that you can't help but love because they seem to be so in sync and so in love. Mel and Jack are constantly seen to be supporting one another. They both understand that their partner has been through a lot of trauma and as adults, needs support and understanding. Jack is constantly trying to help Mel move past her husband's untimely death and her wish to have children. Jack, too, has suffered a lot. His time in the Marines has left him with severe PTSD. He's been shot. His house has been burnt down. It's not easy for him to cope with everything, and having Mel at his side makes it a lot easier. It's also great to see that both Mel and Jack have successful careers that they've been able to balance while dealing with their losses. Jack held a high position in the Marines, and once he left, he was able to build a successful business in Virgin River. The business is successful enough to offer him financial independence. Mel was a big city nurse before she moved to Virginia River. When she moved to the new town, she was able to negotiate a package that was suitable for her. It is lovely to see two people working hard in their communities and flourishing in their careers. It's also clear that Jack and Mel are very compassionate individuals. Whenever either of the two missteps in their relationship, they are quick to forgive each other and move past the transgression. They act maturely and try to move past it instead of holding on to the grudge for long periods. Let's consider Jack's drinking problem. His drinking caused several issues that many people may find hard to forgive so quickly. When she needed help going to the hospital or when he disappeared without a trace, Mel had been sick with worry. Jack apologized each time, and Mel could have refused to forgive him, but that's not the Mel we have grown to love. She's an adult who is aware of Jack's past and the hold it has on him. She encourages him to go to therapy every time he stumbles because she knows all he needs is a little help. Unlike most of the relationships depicted in shows, Jack and Mel communicate with each other honestly. Instead of hiding their issues from the other and making things worse, they 
prefer to keep their intentions and needs clear. Mel didn't hide her desire to have babies from Jack. Instead, it was something he knew she wanted, which made it easier for the two to move past it. Their ability to speak candidly has helped them through worse situations. They accommodated the needs of the other, and that's something everyone rooted for. Their relationship doesn't have any unnecessary drama or cattiness that may make things tougher. There is nothing toxic about their relationship, which is rare to see in TV shows today. It's good to see that the adults learned from their past relationships and have now understood what it takes to make a relationship work and last for a long time. Another reason that makes them such a good couple is that both Mel and Jack are incredibly kind to one another and the people around them. Their innate goodness may make them such a perfect match for each other and one of the best couples on TV. Both of them are mature adults who know just what it takes to make a relationship last. One of the best things to see during the show is the effort they put into their relationship. It is heartwarming to see the effort that Jack puts in to make Mel's day. Whenever she returns from a long day at work, it's clear she loves it. Whether it's the bubble baths or romantic boat rides, Mel is always happy to see just how much Jack cares. Mel reciprocates by putting in the effort to show Jack that she cares too. Mel has lived in a big city for the majority of her life, and participating in small town activities takes a lot of effort. But despite what she feels, she joins in to show Jack that she will be there for him. Virgin River is a small community where the people know each other. Mel and Jack aren't stuck up individuals, but love the people living in that town. As a nurse, Mel has helped several people around town and even those on the outskirts. She gave people support during pregnancies and through Lily's cancer diagnosis and other people around town. When you look at Jack and Mel, the chemistry between them is inevitable. Not only are they good for each other, but they also knew how to have a good time with each other. Jack and Mel never let things get boring. The sparks stay alive because they both don't let it die out. Now you know that Martin wants a happy ending for Jack and Mel, just like all of us. If you'd like to see videos just like this, subscribe to our channel. You'll be notified every time we post something new and interesting. Until then, thanks for watching. See you at the next one.